Hey y'all, it's your girl Kimberly P. Welcome back to my channel, KP Sparks. I love y'all. I just wanted to say that. <laughs> but this video is a collab video with a fellow YouTuber. Her name is Natai and her YouTube channel is called Not Just Nadia. You can check it out. I'll put all her information in the description box below. She's actually going to be making a back to school advice video from the perspective of someone that is still in college. As you know, I've graduated. Um, so definitely check that out in the description box below. When I was in school, it was really rare that I had classes with other black females. When I graduated, I was one out of two black females to graduate with a computer science degree. Um, so it's really hard to, it was really hard to find that when I was in school. So please check, check her channel out. In this video, I'm actually going to be giving you all back to school advice from the perspective of somebody that's already graduated with a computer science degree. Basically advice I would tell myself or advice some people gave me while I was in, while I was pursuing my degree. So yeah, let's, let's stop talking, let's stop rapping. Let's get into this. Topic <laughs> First things first though. If you have subscribed to my channel, please take a moment to click that subscribe button so you can see Kimberly P and get notifications anytime KP Talks puts up a video. I don't know why I'm so hyped right now, but please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. So if I were to go back to school and give myself advice as to how to strive my last year of college, um, the first thing I would tell myself is to finish off strong. While I was in my last year of college, um, the only thing I had to compare my last year of school in any case was my last year of high school. And my last year of high school, I don't I don't remember doing a lot of work. The most work I did was to apply to college. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it was so chill. You know, you had all these events, prom, last homecoming class night, all that stuff. Um, pep rally, all that stuff that's so hype, that's so live. Um, I didn't really have to do too much in school to, you know, do well. But in college, <laughs> honey boo boo, you still gotta do that work even though it's your last year. I thought it would be chill. Girl, the joke is on you. But your last year of college, the intensity, at least from a computer science degree, um, it's still the same. You still have to put in a lot of work while in addition to that, now you're not applying for college, you're applying to jobs that you are going to start your career with. One thing that helped me finish off strong um, in my degree was to just keep telling myself, this is the last time I have to do this. Like, okay, I know, I know I've been through this for three years, for three, four, three, four years, but this is the last time because I didn't plan on going back to school. And I still don't plan on going back to school as of now. <laughs> this is the last time I, um, will be doing this so it kind of pushed me so i can give it my all it's kind of like when you're working out and you're like counting down the amount of burpees or the amount of um minutes or seconds you have left and you're just like okay give it your all give it your all give it your all that's kind of like the, the attitude you have to go in with when um completing your degree my last year at college i had to keep telling myself like yeah Kim, if you don't if you don't give it your all, if you aren't as diligent in school, um, if you're if you have faith without works, you hear me, girl. Um, there's a possibility that you could fail. Like that's that's a that's a real thing that could happen. You don't want to, um, God forbid, start your job and you figure out that you actually have one more class to finish. That would be a terrible place to be at. Um, so I would definitely just keep your diligence up, sacrifice your weekends. Some weekends you won't have to say no to that that birthday dinner, that birthday brunch. You got you had an assignment that you got to submit before 1159. Sometimes you just have to do that. Um, so that's one thing I would tell you as you're going into your last year. Keep going to those office hours. Just do everything as though you're doing it onto the Lord. So for some people, they apply to jobs during their junior year or some people apply to jobs during their senior year. This is definitely the prime time where you need to apply to jobs. If you're in your last year, I definitely think that you need to start applying to jobs or just trying to make a game plan of what you are doing after school. From my experience, I would definitely say that whatever you wanna do, um, just make the decision. Make your decision and go after it, go for it. If you haven't watched my I Lost My Job Offer video, definitely check it out. I'll put it in the card section. It's either on one of these sides and I'll put it in the description box below. But when I was in school, I had to really go after what I, I believed in my heart that I was supposed to do after school. So definitely go after it. And um, it's got, I'm not gonna lie, it's gonna be hard to balance. If you're a computer science major, everything builds up. If you learn something, you're your freshman year or your sophomore year of college, you're just now doing more advanced part of that 
something that you learned or you're doing something that is just a small part of what you learned. You gotta always keep in mind that if you don't apply to jobs during the school year or around this time or if you're not making plans as to how you wanna build your business or whatever you wanna do after graduation, nothing is gonna fall into your lap. This is real live adults in, okay? And I'm a believer in going after what you want even if you're not qualified for it. But if you are ever in the case where after you've went through this school year and you graduated and you are in the place where you don't have a job, you're not your situation. Um, God is just waiting for the perfect time for you to receive that blessing that she has already promised you. Um, so definitely keep that in mind. One secret I will let people know when applying to jobs, and this can apply to any major, is to connect with people that are already at jobs that you desire to be at and ask them to write referrals for you. That can mean so much to somebody that is looking over your resume, that is looking over your application. Somebody that already worked with already vouches for this person that's applying. I wanna give this resume, I wanna give this application another look. I'm going to career fairs. Career fairs actually work, guys. <laughs> so they actually work. So go, go to your career fairs, talk to people. You don't have to be extra technical when you're in a career fair. Some people, they go into career fair and they be like, yeah. I took a uh, cyber security my my freshman year in high school and I do this and I knew I know how to code I've been coding since I've been a baby if you aren't super technical as far as like how you talk it's okay just be yourself like even when you go to employers be yourself and see and be honest be like look i i really enjoy doing this this is my passion and i'm i'm willing and ready to learn from whatever you have to offer me one last thing i would suggest for people that are applying to technical um positions from my experience, because I applied for a few software engineer positions, go over your basics. So before I was talking about how when you are a senior in um, a technical career or a computer science career, you're more so doing more advanced topics or a certain part of that topic, now is the time where you need to go over your basics. For example, how does a queue work? How does a stack work? Learn different functions and different programming languages. I remember when and this is not to slice my head up or anything like that because I didn't even get the position, but I interviewed with Amazon and they and they asked me technical questions about functions that are in Java compared to functions that are in C. And I was just like, um, banana, sign up. <laughs> you gotta remember those basic stuff because they actually wanna know if you know the basics so you can add on to that when you get to your position. Last but not least, I would definitely say um, to go into this school year knowing that you about to celebrate at the end. Uh, this is kind of like an end of the school year advice video, but we are gonna work with it. <laughs> but going to the school year knowing that you are gonna have something to celebrate at the end. I, would, I always tell people, and one of my good friends told me this, I always bring up Pauline, but Pauline, she said that, you know, not everybody has the opportunity to go to college. Not everyone has the opportunity to finish off a degree. And it's something that you should celebrate. This can mean taking a trip. This can mean having a graduation party. This can mean doing something like like flattering yourself or something. I believe that everybody should have some type of celebration at the end of their college career because college is not easy, bruh. College is not easy. College is not easy and college isn't for everybody. So if you are able to finish off strong, definitely celebrate. Um, Hey, if you if you start in your first month of your last school year right now, you could be planning your graduation party and say, hey, like, I thank you God in advance for me passing. And that's all the back to school advice I have for everyone going into their last school year of college coming from the perspective of somebody that's already graduated. Thank you all for watching. Before you leave, um, please leave a comment down below if you have already graduated. What's one thing you would tell yourself going into your last school year? I would love to hear y'all. And of course, start a conversation down below. You already know I was gonna say that. <laughs> As always, I love you all so much. And I'm gonna see y'all in my next video. Peace and blessings. Bye.